We begin today in Tennessee, where the body of a woman who was a mother and teacher has been found after an exhaustive four-day search. 34-year-old Eliza Fletcher disappeared while on a run last week. Police taking a suspect into custody over the weekend. And News Nation correspondent Marky Martin is live. So, Marky, we know the suspect has a history with kidnapping. We do, Nicole. After four robust days of searching, authorities finally locating and identifying the body of Eliza Fletcher, the mother and teacher violently abducted during her Friday morning run. And now her alleged killer, a repeat offender, now behind bars once again. Today is a very sad day in the city of Memphis. Tennessee authorities announcing new details in the disappearance of Eliza Fletcher following an intensive four day search. The 34 year old's body was found in the back of a vacant duplex apartment eight miles from where she went missing. Further forensic investigation by the MPD traffic unit positively identified the body was, in fact, Eliza Fletcher. Her alleged kidnapper and killer? 38 year old Cleotha Abston, who now faces multiple charges, including first degree murder. Surveillance images show the abductor waiting in this black SUV. When Fletcher passes by on her Friday morning jog, he aggressively runs toward her and forces her into the car. According to police records, Abston's DNA was found on a pair of shoes left at the scene, which were found alongside Fletcher's cell phone. We have no reason to think this was anything other than an isolated uh, attack by a stranger. Abston appearing in front of a judge today, but he's no stranger to the law. His criminal record dates back to just 12 years old, with charges including aggravated assault with a weapon and rape. At 16, he kidnapped a Memphis prosecutor at gunpoint, a crime he spent 20 of a 24-year sentence behind bars for. Unfortunately, that time was not long enough and uh, he was given the opportunity to kill. Alex Del Carmen is a criminology expert. We asked him how a repeat offender like Abston was allowed back on the streets. We in society say, well, gee, throw the key you know, away and put him in prison forever. And, and of course, hindsight is 2020, but that judge is restrained to whatever parameters the law gives that judge at the time of sentencing. Fletcher's family releasing this statement today. We are heartbroken and devastated by this senseless loss. Liza was such a joy to so many. Her family, friends, colleagues, students, parents, members of her second Presbyterian church congregation, and everyone who knew her. And Nicole Fletcher's family also asking for respect and privacy while they grieve. I'll also add this, the manner of her death has not been released at this time, and Abstin will be back in court tomorrow. Nicole. Yeah, our thoughts are certainly with Eliza's family. Thank you, Marky. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.